Pat Logue was a brilliant, hardworking, serious person who cared about justice. She was very funny, uh, very soft-spoken. She didn't take up a lot of space in the room, but when she spoke, everybody listened. I would say that she was passionate, she was empathetic, she was kind, she was humorous, she was inspiring, and she was a mentor. She was an incredible writer and a visionary, and she knew how to tell a person's story in the most succinct and powerful way possible. Lambda's Midwest Regional Office was made possible in the early 1990s by the bequest from Bon Foster. Robert Bon Foster was a visionary and brilliant young lawyer who sadly passed away too soon of HIV and AIDS. He bequeathed money to Lambda Legal to open an office in the Midwest. I think it's important to remember we were in the middle of the worst of the HIV epidemic nationwide. So it was a critically important time for Lambda to be expanding. There was a lot of loss. People were coming over off of a lot of loss. And yet it was also a time for me of possibility. Once the decision to open the office was made, Pat Lowe was an obvious candidate. She understood Lambda's work. She was a public interest lawyer. She was a part of the lesbian community. Uh, she wanted to do this work. She knew a lot of people and was highly respected. Pat and I were the first hired, and we started running. I mean, it was from the, from the moment we opened that office, we didn't stop. The Nabosni case was about the duty of schools to protect openly gay students or students who were being harassed because people presumed they were gay. Pat saw this as a great opportunity to expand student protections, and we won, and it changed the law for students in schools all across America. I got to know Pat when I was fortunate enough to be in a, in a position to work with Lambda Legal on a case called Lawrence versus Texas way back in 2002. It was the Texas case that went to the Supreme Court and that led to the overturning of sodomy laws all across the United States. Pat was the absolutely essential part of that team all the way through the briefing process, Eventually, the argument preparation process, that's the part I remember her most vividly uh, being involved in, but she was there throughout. Pat was a visionary in many respects. She fundamentally believed in the right to due process under the law. And again and again, she brought cases that many people thought could never, never win, and she won them. And those cases turned the tide for the entire country. We were not used to winning in those days. We were more used to losing. The victories that we had reverberated really loud. What we were doing and what Pat played such a key role in was turning history around so that the new version of history had LGBT people winning. I was just so grateful to have the opportunity to work with her, to get to know her. To, to learn from her exper experience that was in the movement uh, and just from her innate brilliance. So she was a remarkable, remarkable lawyer and a remarkable person. I was privileged and honored to work with Pat and to make a change in ways that I had not even imagined. And now I live those changes. You are living within the realm of what she helped create. Pat Lowe litigated path-breaking cases, landmarks. And yet at the same time, she was humble. She had an unbelievable optimism that if courts only heard the stories of the people she represented, that they would do the right thing. And again and again, she vindicated the rights of some of the most marginalized people in this country. We all miss her very much.